trial attorney Brian Rotella joins us right now to um, talk a little bit more about this. What about Caitlin's reporting there about this guy Davidson that they put up on the stand? They just tried to make him, as she said, she's right, to try to make him look like a sleazy guy who's, you know, if you have some dirt on a celebrity, he's going to get you some money. What, what's the prosecution doing here and how effective do you think it might have been? Well, hey, Colin, uh, Colin I, let me tell you, Caitlin just nailed it. I'm gonna break news here for you. As a trial lawyer, I would be doing everything in my power right now to try to tell if Donald Trump was my client, you're not gonna take the stand uh, in this case. You don't need to. It's like a sports game where if your opponent's doing everything in its power to lose the case or lose the game, stay out of the way. And what Caitlin just went over is exactly what's happening in this case, which is you've got all of a sudden, usually when you have a, a case with a criminal defendant, like a Donald Trump, you want to make that person into like a bond jump, right? So the jury gets this really, really bad view and they're, they're narrow, very, very zeroed in on that defendant. Keith Davidson has become the star of this case. And through the prosecution's own questioning and trying to get all this stuff out about Keith Davidson, who was the attorney who negotiated these quote unquote hush money deals with Stormy Daniels and this Playboy playmate who allegedly had affairs with Donald Trump, they turned Keith Davidson into this. I don't know how else to say it, but a slimy looking character who looks like he took a decade of a modus operandi of trying to shake down celebrities. So from his this really backfired? You think this really backfired on the prosecution? And if so, what's the impact? I think it, it I, don't, I don't even think it backfired. I think that it set up the potential for Donald Trump to not have to testify if they can get him not to testify, which well, is another by issue. By the way, that was always the issue. Like, a lot of people said he shouldn't have testified anyway. It was whether or not he was going to want to, right? Oh, absolutely. Look, any lawyer will tell you, you can only have so much client control, and a lot of times you lose cases because of client control. But here, just trying to look at it objectively, Donald Trump should not testify based on if, if Keith Davidson and Michael Cohen are the star witnesses that this prosecutor has to prove a case that Donald Trump falsified uh, financial records with the intent to defraud the American people not to vote a different way in the 2016 election. I don't know how you get there with the testimony of this Keith Davidson character and Michael Cohen, who was compared to the dog in the movie Up for being so crazy and frantic by Keith Davidson. I don't know how you get there. And that's the prosecution's piece. That's what we are. Uh, that's where we are right now. Yeah, it, it might have been a, a bad choice in terms of what the prosecution was putting together. They chose to, to, to call him. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.